Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to another video. <laughs> so, for this video I'm doing something a little special. As you can see here, I am extremely close to 1 million orbs. So, I have some levels lined up that I really want to do before I get there. I have these three levels here. And then I have a bunch of other levels lined up for afterwards. But, the three levels I have lined up for this little mini-series here is Eru, Crush, and the final lair. First up, we have Eru. And I have a pretty interesting story to tell with this level. So, back in mid-February 2020, right before COVID started being a real problem here in the US, Jonathan GD releases Future Funk 2, which is a pretty hard insane demon with a very chokeable ending. So I pitched the idea for him to make an easy demon level, since that would fall into my skill range a lot better than his previous attempt to make an easy demon, Biru. That level is just crazy. It just increases in difficulty the further you get into it. It goes from this to this craziness. Look at this. Yeah, this definitely isn't unbalanced at all. Especially five minutes into a medium demon, when your nerves are going crazy already. So, I left a comment suggesting the idea to Jonathan, and it actually got a heart. And now, two and a half years later, the level is finally published. Plus, it says in the description here, it took him 1450 hours to build the entire thing. That's crazy, that's like a quarter to a fifth of my entire playtime since I started in 1.8. Anyways, now that story time is over, on to the level now. Whoa, that's a cool title screen. Dang it, I messed up that last input to get the first coin. Man. Okay, there we go. I love the atmosphere of this level so far. It's so relaxing. <laughs> Definitely worth the two and a half year long wait. And this is how you get the rest of the first coin. Land on the edge there to jump over the yellow portal and then tap the red trigger orb. Also, skipping these orbs here is a thing for the second coin, but that's a lot harder. <laughs> So, I'm just doing it for the swag roots, because it's still very entertaining. Now we have this really cool part with the custom rocket and UFO. This may seem intimidating at first, but if you just look right here to the slight right of the icon, you'll be fine and be able to sight read it really easily. Well, that was a great second attempt. <laughs> wow. But man, I am just not good at ship sections like that. Can't wait to see myself choke the ending stress test ship at the end at like 90. Also, here's how to get the other two coins if anyone's wondering. After you skip all the orbs in that ball section, you hit this red button here. Then you want to jump up here and land on that invisible thing. Fly up here, skipping the big portal in the green orb. And now you can successfully push that block. Then you just need to jump over the invisible spike, avoid the slope boost, and then hold the dash orb to get the coin. Now for the third coin, you start by hitting this button in the ball section here. And then hit the other red button here shortly after. Next, you wanna fly through this gap here and collect this particle. Then lastly here, you want to hit the bottom of this platform and then do four late timings. And there you go. Now you have all three coins and can enjoy your level completion. And then one last thing I want to mention here is that this ship section in the duel can be a bit challenging. You have to hit this red orb and then maneuver your way down to hit the yellow orb. It can be tricky at times because you can just bounce off the floor and just bump right into the spikes. I would definitely recommend practicing this section if you're trying to go for this level. 
because it's like the one hard part before the end. Ah, there we go. Finally. Okay, I think I'm actually ready to start playing from zero now. Well, I guess that's proof that there is actually a trigger orb there you need to hit, and it isn't just free. <laughs> what? What happened there? I must have panicked and switched gravity as the ball or something. No, I didn't have enough momentum there. Dang it. Again? Are you kidding me, man? Twice in a row. Come on. Ugh. <sighs> oh, that was so close, man. No! Dang it! This is going to be it, too. Ah! I took a break in everything there, man. Come on. And now I'm too early there? Come on, man. Seriously? Can I please just beat this level already? Holy crud, man. Ugh. Can't wait to die at the stupid stress test ship right after this part.
Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 I was so close to dying to that wave at 79 again. But yes, I flew to the stress test ship in the end. Yes! Whew. Okay. Hey, Exnick to beat this as well. Nice. Finally, someone on my friends list beat something that I did. Okay, so it took me 339 attempts. Not bad. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite levels of 2.1 though. As for my overall thoughts on this level, I actually really love it. <laughs> it's definitely worth the two and a half year wait for an uh, easy Demon Jonathan level. Since even though I have been able to complete all of his other previous levels in practice mode, and they seemed fun, but I was just never able to do them because they were just out of my skill range and they all skyrocketed in difficulty towards the end of the level. Which, no, not fun on an XXL level. <laughs> this one, it's exactly all of that, but it doesn't have the stupid difficulty spike at the end, like literally all of his other levels. As for the other aspects of this level, it is top notch on atmosphere. Just look at the part at 86 slash 87 for an example of that. Just really goes the extra mile with all the effects and everything. It is the perfect challenging Easy Demon XXL level. Oh, hey, yeah. Let's just complete three quests now. But as I was saying, highly recommend this level. 11 out of 10. Top notch. Must play. Now if you're looking for another Easy Demon by Jonathan, he has this one, The Farewell, which is unrated. This is a level he made at the end of 2.0. That was back in December 2016, five and a half years ago. I actually forget how many attempts this took me. Ooh, n yeah, no, not that many. <laughs> this probably took me like 25, 30 attempts two weeks ago when I did it. So if you like XXL Easy Demons and are looking for another Jonathan one to play, I highly recommend this one. Hopefully it gets rated soon, because it's been five and a half years, and I've actually sent it to like two different mods myself. But down here's my comment from two weeks ago. This is definitely one of my favorite 2.0 levels, along with X by Triaxis and Cirrus by Funny Game. So, next time in this quest for a million orbs, I'm going to be doing Crush by my favorite creator in the game, Subwoofer. Except, I'm actually not, because the World Gauntlet Contest just ended, and there is a lot of great entries. So I'm going to take some time to try and get that video out before the contest results premiere next weekend. Okay, so if you guys like this video and want to see more like it in the future, feel free to tell me in the comments, since I always read all comments. Also, if you liked it, feel free to leave a like on the video or subscribe to my channel. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.